What up, though? It's your boy DJ Star back with another unboxing. But before we do that, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content. And also, please like, comment, and share our videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. And also, make sure you check those links down below. So it's been a minute since I did an unboxing, man. The month of June 2023 has been super dry. Nobody's had nothing. Nothing's come out. Nothing's great dropped yet. And we still got some time for some greatness. But I did come across something that I thought was dope. So as you see the top of the box, it has that Jordan or Air Jordan with the Jumpman in the middle. But you look at the side of the box and it's got the cement print. So you already know these two don't go together. So I thought this is interesting. And then I looked at it and I said, okay, these are, as you see, the Jordan MVP. The colorway is black, dark carcorn, concord, I'm sorry, y'all. And this is a US size 12, but I'm absolutely not copying this. But I thought it was an interesting take, so let's flip the box open first and foremost. And as you see right here, it said it's the Jordan MVP. It said the six, the sole, tongue, and toe from the six. You see the seven, upper heel and pool from the seven. And you see the eight, the TPU paint strokes from the eight. So this is interesting. You see the, the paper has got 23 all over it. I didn't know, notice any quality control stamps or anything like that. So that right there in itself is very, 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 very interesting. So let's jump right into it. So here we go, the Air Jordan MVPs. Um, and I don't really know what to make of it, man. I mean, actually, when you put it side by side, this is actually looks better than the Jordan 6 rings. But it's still an amalgamation that I don't think nobody asked for, right? But it's not bad. But the retail on these are like $165. So, like, for $35 more, you can just get you a retro. I mean, what, retros are usually at $200, $210, depending, depending, I mean, depending on... The, the shoe, the model, or the OGness of it. So, I don't know what to think of these, man. But as you see, it's a lot going on with this shoe. So, let's start at the beginning like we always do. Let's start at the um, outsole. You can see this outsole is clearly the Air Jordan 6. And the midsole as well. But the outsole is all Air Jordan 6. They didn't try to add nothing, put nothing in the middle, do nothing funky with it. They just put the 6 on it. And then when you move up to the midsole, this is like the infrared 6. Actually, not the infrared 6. This is like more of a gym red colorway in this red. But you see, this is all 6. And then when you go up to the upper, right here is where you see the 8. The TPU plate painted with the 8. But then when you get up to the upper, this is a nice new bug. It's, it's not premium by any means. But usually when you get new bugs, you do get a quality control stamp in the box. So that threw me off. So this is new bug. This is your toe from the 6. But this little part right here is all from the seven. It is no 3M in here and these dots or these whatever. And then you get a Concord Jumpman facing that way on the top. But this is kind of like a six, but tailored different. When you get to the tongue, that is all the six as well. And this part of the booty is all the six. And then you get to this side, they got a 23 on here. So somebody in the comments, let me know where this 23 font is from. Cause I know it's not from the seven. And I'm not sure that the 8 had a 23 on it. I'm not sure. I don't own any 8, so I don't know. But I'm just curious of where this 23 font came from that's in Concord. But then you get to the back of the shoe, and you see they got a Nike Air, which just confuses the hell out of people. You just put Nike Air on anything. It should only be for the retros that came with the Nike Air in the original release. And then you get to the tongue. <clears throat> like I said, the tongue. This is at Air Jordan 6 tongue period point blank with the go down side booty but on the inside you'll see it has another booty on the heel so you don't get that on the six <clears throat> and it said in the, in the, in the picture in the scripture it said this came from the seven <clears throat> but the seven links down to the to the um the number on the back of the seven this seems more like an eight it loops in with a concord pull tab with inner booty and then the inside it says flight done in um, cursive and that red on the black um, sock liner. So, I mean, this, I don't know, man. I don't know what to think of these. I'm not copying, of course, but it's interesting. And the materials ain't too bad. It's like if you missed the infrared sixes or whatever and you wanted to go back and grab these, it's kind of the same thing, but a budget option, but not a good one in my opinion. I don't know. Tell me your thoughts down below and tell me what you caught this. Let me know down in the comments below because I'm really curious to see what y'all think. That's the only reason I did this review because I thought it was an interesting shoe. I'm not sure the air technology, I want to assume that it's air here and air and air in here you know full not full length with two air pods or whatever 
and the heel and the toe, but I'm not sure, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a brand new silhouette with different takes on the Air Jordan models. So I don't know, man. Tell me what y'all think. Um, it's, yeah, it's something I'm definitely not copying. It's already released in stores. It's out ready. If you go to your favorite store, they should have it in stock. So drop a comment down below and tell me what you think. But that being said, we're going to get up out of here. And always, like I said, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't drop new content. And also, please like, comment, and share on the video. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. And we still push it for those subscribers. And don't forget to hit the links down below. So with that being said, as always, love, peace, and prosperity. I'm gone.